Hi, I'm Natalie Dale with the Georgia Department of Transportation. I'm here with Andrew Heath, our state traffic engineer who keeps a, a close eye on our roadways 24-7, but also most especially during these emergency events. So tell us, Andrew, what are you seeing on the road today? Sure, yeah, this morning we've seen uh, pretty minimal congestion actually. We've, we've got some pockets uh, on the I-75 corridor. We still are seeing quite a few evacuees coming up from Florida trying to get out of the path of the hurricane and moving up to the Atlanta area. But overall, um, I-16 is now contraflow. It appears to be working pretty well. Very minimal congestion. Similarly, I-95 is also moving really well. So, you know, folks need to keep in mind that there's some congestion on 75, but um, from a statewide picture, things look pretty good. Well, let's talk 75 for a second. I know yesterday and the day before we saw um, some pretty notable traffic increases, three or four times our normal traffic counts in areas like Macon and Valdosta. What kind of message do you have for motorists who are traveling through those areas? Yeah, the, the folks definitely need to be prepared for the journey. You know, uh, over the last few days, we saw some pretty severe congestion, particularly from Macon to Atlanta. Um, a lot of that associated with the evacuation, so folks need to be prepared. Uh, use our 511 resources to understand the full extent of the evacuation routes we have in Georgia. There are other alternatives that can be used other than the interstates, and folks should look to take advantage of that. I know we've got about some like 20 different routes posted on our website um, that we've put together that, that motorists can take. If, if they don't want to sit in that traffic on I-75, we've got lots of options. That's right, yeah, and those, those are essentially crisscross the state in a north, south, and east, west. Uh, pattern so you know folks can look to use those other those routes most of those are four lane facilities and are traveling at relatively high speeds so they should look to use those options as, as able any final message to motorists who are in these evacuation areas or in South Georgia who may not yet be on the road I would say if they're not on the road yet and they're, they're looking to get out, they need to get on, on the road as soon as they can. Have their destination in mind, have their plan in place before they, before they leave, and utilize the resources we, we have out there. And finally, I would say keep an eye out for those first responders, um, our hero operators, our champ operators, and other law enforcement that may be out there to let them do their job. Excellent. Excellent, Andrew. Thank you. And Thank you. we'll be back with you throughout the day with updated information as to what to expect, where to go, and how to be safe during Hurricane Irma.